Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra Olympiad problem? We are finding the value of x given that x is a member of a real number. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, we can rewrite this as x plus 2 then times x plus 5 then close bracket we group that together we group x plus 2 then x plus 5 together also we group x plus 3 then times x plus 4 together then we close bracket then divided by similarly in the denominator we apply the same thing we group x minus 2 and x minus 5 together so we have x minus 2 times x minus 5 in close bracket then also we group x minus 3 then times x minus 4 together then we equate it to 1 equals to 1 so that when we simplify this here we expand this bracket x we multiply first we have x times x, that's x squared, then plus x times 5, 5x, then 2 we multiply, then plus 2x, then 2 times 5, that's plus 10. Then that's the expansion of the first bracket here. Then also the second bracket, multiply with x, we have x squared, then plus 4x, then multiply with 3, that's plus 3x. Then plus 3 times 4, that's 12. Then divided by, also in the denominator, we open the first bracket here. x multiply, we have x squared. Then minus 5x. Then minus 2, that's minus 2x. Then plus 10. Because minus times minus is plus, then 2 times 5, that's 10. Then the second bracket as well expand, we have x squared. Then minus 4x, minus 3 expand as minus 3x, then plus 12, which is equal to 1. And when we simplify again, we can add the like terms together. We have x squared plus 5x plus 2x, that's 7x, then plus 10. Then in the second bracket as well, we have x squared plus 4x plus 3x, that's 37x, then plus 12. Then the denominator as well, we have x squared minus 7x now, minus 5 minus 2, that's minus 7, then plus 10. Then into bracket x squared minus 7x plus 12, which is equal to 1. And then when we look closely into this, let's use a letter to represent. Let's say a equals to x squared plus 7x plus 10. And b is equals to x squared minus 7x plus 10. And we write this left hand side in terms of in terms of a and b. And this will be a multiply by this is just a plus 2 because we have 10 here and we have 12 here that's just simply a plus 2 there then divided by here we have b that's b into bracket also here the difference between this and this is 2 that's just b plus 2 which is equals to 1 from here we can cross multiply because it's 1 over 1. When we cross multiply, we still have a, then a can open the bracket as a square plus 2a, then equals to b square plus 2b. So b open the bracket here too, then we cross multiply. Then from here we can bring everything to one side and uh, this will become a square minus b square. Then we have plus 2a, then minus 2b, which is equal to 0. Taking everything to one side, then rearrange. Then here we have something of the form, difference of two squares. That is, we can write this as 
a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So that's difference of two squares. Then here 2 is common, we take it out. 2 into bracket a minus b, which is equal to 0. And from here, we have a minus b, a minus b common. Let's bring it out. And uh, that's a minus b out now. Then what is left here is a plus b. Then what is left here is plus 2. Then which is equal to 0. Then from here, we have two possible cases. We have a minus b equals to 0. And we have a plus b plus 2 equals to 0. When we solve here, we can say this is a equals to b. Then our a here is x squared plus 7x plus 10. B is x squared minus 7x plus 10. So when we equate it, we have x squared. That's a plus 7x plus 10 is equals to b, which is x square minus 7x then plus 10 here on this side we have x square then x square so tracing x square from both sides same thing as this cancel each other also plus 10 plus 10 this cancel each other and what we have now is simply 7x equals to minus 7x and of course when we take this here that's 7x plus 7x equals to 0 which is 14x equals to 0 and uh, divide both sides by 14 from here we discover that that's x equals to 0 divided by 14 is still 0 so we have x equals to 0 from here then solving this we have a plus b plus 2 equals to 0 then our a is x squared plus 7x plus 10 then plus b which is x squared minus 7x plus 10 then plus 2 we have plus 2 which is equals to 0 now when we solve this we have plus 7x cancel minus 7x then we have x squared plus x squared that's simply 2x squared then we have 10 plus 10 plus 2 that's plus 22 which is equal to 0 here we have a quadratic equation in terms of x where a is equal to 2 then b is equal to 0 because there is no x here then c is equal to 22 so we can check whether we are having a resolution or not using the discriminant b square minus 4 ac from here and the b is 0 so we have 0 square minus 4 a that's 2 then times 22 and when we solve this we discover this is 0 minus 88 this minus 88 and of course, minus 88 times 2, which is minus 176, rather. So we have minus 176, because when this multiplies each other, we have this, which is less than 0. So since we have this less than 0, that means this is imaginary root here, imaginary solution here. So therefore, there is no resolution here. So we have no resolution. And uh, the only resolution here now is x equal to 0. Then when we test and we put into the original equation, we discover that that will give us, that will be, you know, correct for that. When we put x equals to 0 here, we have 0 plus 2, that's t2. We have 2 here. We have 2. Then we have 0 plus 3, that's t3. We have times 3. 2 times 3, then this is t4 times 4, then this is t5 times 5, then in the denominator as well, this is minus 2, that's 0 minus 2, that's t minus 2 times, we have 0 minus 3, that's minus 3, times 0 minus 4, that's minus 4 times minus 5, with this be equals to my with this be equals to 1. Then when we look at that, we discover that here we have minus times minus plus also minus times minus is plus so therefore what is up is equal to the same thing down then everything here will be equal to one and therefore zero is therefore a solution to that problem thank you for watching
don't forget to subscribe to this channel give it a like and share this video thank you see you in the next class and bye for now